For roll film, you need to locate the appropriate gates into the frame first. So for 35mm, you locate the 120T gate at the top, the 35mm T gate below that, and the 35B gate at the bottom. Once the gates are loaded, turn over pixelator, load the film, so the first frame that you want to digitize meets the inside edge of the frame. You can then place the diffuser onto the back, place pixelator onto your light source, make sure your negatives are lined up, place the 35mm vertical gate, press to make sure the film is tightly held in pixelator and take a photo with a digital camera. For 120, the same process applies. Insert the 120T gate into the top, 120B gate into the bottom. Turn over pixelator. Place the film with the edge of the photo that you want to digitize along the inside edge of the frame. The diffuser on the back. Put pixelator onto your light source. And then place the 120V gate. Push down the frame and take a photo with your digital camera. When digitizing roll film, after you've captured the first photo, prise open the frame at the top, putting pressure on the bottom of Pixelator to hinge, and push through the film to the next image you want to digitize, and then push down to clamp the film in place and take the next photo. To load a sheet of 4x5 film into Pixelator, turn over the frame, locate the film, emulsion side down with the notches in the top right hand corner, and then place the diffuser onto the back. You can then place your Pixelator onto a light source, press down the frame at the edges and take a digital image of your negative. The best results from Pixelator can be achieved using a camera on a copy stand. By placing Pixelator on a light source, masking any extraneous light, the camera can then be focused and an image taken. This is best achieved in as low a lit environment as possible. Pixelator can also be used in front of a window or a desk lamp. To do this, Push the legs into the back, stand pixelator up and place it in front of your alternative light source. 